In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the Unfold Perimeter tool on the selected object within the designing area of the software. So, to begin with, let's use a number one that we wish to make out of a strip of cardboard or aluminum. In other words, we want to build a three-dimensional figure made out of a bendable material as shown on the right side. To do this, click on the number one and then go up to and click on the plugins drop-down box and select the Unfold Perimeter tool. Now, the number one will appear in the module. Next, click on the one to select it, and all the tools will appear at the bottom of the module. Now we can set the values that suit our project. To begin with, we will set the extrusion height, or in other words, the size of the bendable material. In this case, let's set this to two inches, which will change the display. Next, we will set the size of the text, which we will later print out as a guide when we are bending our material at the correct position. In this case, I will set this to three quarters of an inch, which again changes the display. Next, we need to set the starting point for our project. The starting point is where we begin the first section of the extrusion, as you can see, as I click each point. The module also indicates the direction of the pattern we are going to create using a green arrow. In this case, I will click here to begin from the bottom right corner because later I'll weld the join in the least obvious location. Now we can see our pattern. As you can see, I will go along to 1.604 inches from the start and then make a 90 degree bend. Next I go to 7.649 inches and make the next bend and so on. I can also click these check boxes to switch parts of the pattern I am about to create on or off. In this case, I will keep all of these options switched to on. Next, I click on Accept. Now, I can go to page 2 and paste my pattern into the designing area. Then, I can print this pattern out onto regular paper and either glue or attach it to my bendable material and then bend as indicated from the marks on the pattern. You can use this on any shape you wish to create a physical figure from. And that's the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching.